Hey, nation. I'm Derek and welcome to Bears Express Report. The Chicago Bears signed offensive lineman Nate Davis to a three-year deal worth up to $30 million in 2023, with $17.5 million guaranteed. Davis was one of the team's biggest free agent signings of the 2023 offseason, but he missed six games due to both the death of his mother at the start of the season and a nagging lower limb injury as the year progressed. While missing time due to the passing of a loved one is entirely understandable, Davis's absence from OTAs so far this offseason has raised concerns about his injury status. It has also affected how the O-line has lined up during practice. Considering all events, could Davis lose his job? What would be the impact? Let's check out all the details. First, my friends, can I ask you a favor? If you like what we're doing here, show your support by clicking the like button. It's a great way to help us. Thank you for your support. To be fair, Davis practiced over the first few days of training camp, with vets reporting on July 19th. When Davis was out, however, starting center candidate Ryan Bates took his reps. Windy City Gridiron's Bill Zimmerman believes that, if Davis continues to miss practices, like he did last year and at OTAs, his starting spot could be in jeopardy and that could open the door for Ryan Bates. For the 27-year-old Davis, health will be key this season. The veteran guard missed four games with an ankle injury in 2023, and it would be advantageous for him to start his 2024 campaign off right. The Bears added Bates and Coleman Shelton this offseason, and both are currently competing for the starting center position. Chicago won't be able to have continuity on the offensive line until that's decided, but an injury to Davis in particular could throw everything off. If Nate Davis isn't regularly practicing and performing well, he is going to lose his starting job and we are going to see Shelton and Bates start, Zimmerman wrote. But if Davis plays and plays well, that will allow Bates to get more reps at center and potentially start there. Having a healthy offensive line is always crucial, but it will be even more important for the Bears this year, as they have rookie quarterback Caleb Williams making his NFL debut. Protecting Williams, who the team selected number one overall in this year's draft, is of paramount importance. Zimmerman also believes Bears head coach Matt Eberfluss may have sent Davis a subtle message during the team's veteran minicamp, which was held from June 4th through June 6th. Towards the end of minicamp, Matt Eberfluss mentioned that the interior offensive line was an open competition and many assumed that he meant between Bates and Shelton at center. But truthfully, that may have been an indirect shot at Davis, Zimmerman noted. In 11 games with the Bears last season, Davis played 663 snaps at right guard. 384 pass block and 279 run block. He surrendered 1.0 sacks, 7 quarterback hits, and 21 hurries, numbers via pro football focus. If Davis can stay healthy, the Bears also have two exciting young offensive linemen in Tevin Jenkins and Darnell Wright. Together with Davis, that's a formidable trio. But health has also been an issue for Jenkins, who has yet to play a full season in his three-year career. In addition to questions about health and longevity on the line, there's the question of who will be snapping the ball. Bates seems to have an early advantage, but it's too early to tell. With training camp underway and the Bears kicking their preseason off with the Hall of Fame game on August 1st, the team will have to make these decisions sooner rather than later. In your opinion, what would be ideal for the Bears? Leave Nate Davis aside and focus on Ryan Bates' performance? Or is Nate Davis really important? What do you think? Leave it in the comments. Remember to support the channel, leave your like, and subscribe. Don't miss any update, news, or insight about the Bears always stay ahead. See you soon.